canal based irrigation. For canal based irrigation, you need to take out a canal from the river for that. That canal is used for supplying the water to the fields. Okay. So you, for example, this is a river. You dig out a canal. Uh, this is the river. You dig out a canal. And then from the canal, you have other, other form of methods where which can be used for supplying the water to the fields. So this is the main canal. And then you have other forms that can be used for supplying the water to the field. Now, what happens is, do you know a system called as Varbandi system? Varabandi system, right? So, what happens is, if you look at canal based irrigation, one of the problem is it is from head to tail, right? So, the fields are not going to be So, the canal based irrigation it can be done where there is a perennial source of river. Second is, you, you have to dig the canal. So, you need to have soft soil. Thirdly, because you have to dig the canal, you need to have low relief. We cannot have. What is relief? Relief is variation in the height. Okay. So, there should be low relief for us to dig the canal easily. Fourthly, because canal is a centralized system, it requires a lot of maintenance. A lot of maintenance with respect to cleaning, siltation, and also the field channels have to be maintained so that the last person gets it. And it is generally the last person that does not receive the water okay so antodaya waha pe pani nahi pahunch pa so one of the system is ki it should be managed it should not be managed from head to tail it should be managed from tail to head we should take into consideration the need of the last person the last person in the row and then we'll have to manage accordingly because centralized hai to maintenance ka problem aata hai siltation ka problem aata hai it is not as effectively managed and it is also very costly the initial cost is very high but if i take into consideration the entire life of the canal, the cost reduces as the year span is too much. So initial cost is a lot, but long term the canal is very effective. But centralized, it is not convenient, nahi hai. So it is not as much used. Whereas well and tube well, it is the most convenient one and therefore it is most exploited also. What is the canal based dedication? What are the merits and the demerits? One of the demerit is firstly the last person does not get it because of the centralized method. Uh, also, one of the demerit is if there is continuous seepage of the water from the canal, that also leads to problems of soil salinization. That has been seen in your Rajasthan because of continuous seepage of the water. If the canal is not maintained properly, that leads to problem of soil salinization and also other issues. So, write about canal-based irrigation. Uh, yes, uh, before I make you write that, uh, one point that I have been missed here in your uh, well and tube well ka demerit is. Uh, one more point of demerit in the well and tube well is the geogenic pollutants that I mentioned that in, in the regions across, in the regions surrounding Himalayas, the uh, groundwater has uh, geogenic pollutants. Geo means earth, right? Genic is genesis kind. So earth, wahi pe, soil mein hi, aise pollutants hai, groundwater mein pollutants hai, has geogenic uh, pollutants, which the concentration of which, the concentration of the pollutants increases with the over exploitation with over exploitation of a groundwater a name of example can be uh, fluoride fluoride is a, a geogenic pollutant uh, arsenic in uh, this is generally seen around west bengal west bengal mein and fluoride wala generally around your green revolution area okay so because of over exploitation the concentration of this increases and in bracket just write the word uh, bioaccumulation and Biomagnification. I hope you know these terms. Prelims is coming. Biomagnification. Bioaccumulation and bio, biomagnification. Okay. So this was about well and tube well based irrigation. What is biomagnification? What is bioaccumulation? When the pollutant enters the food chain, right? From groundwater to, let's say, in the uh, crop. That is called as bioaccumulation. As, as we move higher in the food chain, the concentration of pollutant increases, magnifies. That is called as biomagnification. So, plastic soup which we create kar rahe in the oceans, right? The plastic is ingested by the uh, fish. The fish is then ingested by the shark. The shark is then ingested by the omnivorous people. Okay. And that's just from fish to shark, the concentration of pollutant will increase from shark to the omnivorous people, the pollutant would increase, right? So, that is accumulation is jab fish mein gaya and magnification in the higher the uh, food chain. Okay. Uh, Canal-based irrigation. Uh, canal based irrigation it is 
इट इज इफेक्टिव फॉर्म ऑफ इरीगेशन फूड चेन पे क्वेश्चन आया हुआ है टू में डायटम क्रस्टेशन एंड हेरिंग दे हैव टोल्ड यू टू आइडेंटिफाई प्रिलिम्स they have told they were telling us to identify which of the following is the correct food chain diatom crustacean herring diatom herring a crustacean a crustacean a diatom herring and you have to identify the right one ye now mein diatom herring a crustaceans crustaceans are the crabs the prawns they have crust right calcium crust herrings basically are fishes theek hai and diatoms they are planktons you might have studied diatom in your oceanography in your oceanography you studied फोरा मेनी फेरा कोकोलिथोफोर्स याद है कुछ नाम नाम ऐसे कोकोलिथोफोर डायटम रेडियोलारिया सीसीडी बस याद होगा ठीक है फाइन कनाल बेस्ड इरिगेशन आंसर है डायटम क्रस्टेशन हेरिंग ठीक है दोज हु वॉन्ट टू नो द आंसर वॉज डायटम क्रस्टेशन एंड देन हेरिंग डायटम इज प्लांट इन क्रस्टेशन इज दी क्रैप्स एंड देन इट इज हेरिंग इज दी फिश ओके कमिंग बैक कनाल बेस्ड इरीगेशन इट इज द इफेक्टिव फॉर्म ऑफ इरीगेशन in areas uh, which have a perennial perennial form of a uh, river has a soft soil they have a low relief uh, majorly seen in majorly these conditions are majorly seen in the uh, north plain of the country canal based irrigation is therefore a form of irrigation practiced in the northern plains what is the merit the merit for this form of irrigation it provides a uh, water throughout the year provides water uh, throughout the year and therefore it is a dependable form so it is the a dependable form of irrigation multi purpose projects can be created not just for irrigation but also for generation of your electricity so multi purpose projects can be used electricity generation can be done and though it is though the initial cost though the initial cost is high for canal based irrigation uh, the cost reduces the cost reduces in the longer run therefore it is a cost effective it is a cost effective in the longer run demerit it requires high maintenance which compromises the efficiency which compromises the efficiency of the project the problem of water logging is very common with canal based irrigation leads to problem of water logging uh, can lead to the problem of flooding in rainy season it's problem of flooding in the rainy season sirf initial cost is other baad mein you do not have as much cost of pumping out the water and therefore it is cost effective in the longer run though it is maintenance high there is high maintenance which is compromising the efficiency it is cost effective hai cost effective hai main ye keh rahi hu ki initial cost zyada sabse zyada initial cost teeno mein se ha kyunki longer run mein कॉस्ट नहीं है ना लॉन्गर रन में बहुत ज्यादा कॉस्ट नहीं है टू पंप आउट दी वाटर हाँ एक्सेप्ट फॉर मेंटेनेंस बट आप बट अगर आप वेल टैंक बेस्ड इरिगेशन देखो वहां पे मेंटेनेंस प्रॉब्लम है सिल्टेशन प्रॉब्लम है बट यू अंडरस्टैंड नो यस द ऑपरेशन कॉस्ट इज लेस लेस कम्पेयर टू दी अदर ओके एज दी ऑपरेशन कॉस्ट इज लेस राइट गवर्नमेंट ही कर रही है सब कुछ जो केरला में क्या हुआ राइट सो बिकॉज देर इज देर इज लैक ऑफ मेंटेनेंस ठीक है, there is lack of proactive support. There can be flooding also because from the canal, if you don't maintain, वो भी silt होगा, उसको proper clean नहीं करेंगे, तो flooding flooding के problems बहुत ज़्यादा common. Flooding help करेगा, हाँ. But अगर आप silt कर रहे हैं, siltation है, carrying capacity कम हो रही है, और बारिश आ गई एकदम से, what will happen? It will flood, right? Burst हो जाएगा और flood हो जाएगा.